It's the final countdown for U.S. midterm elections. The competition is heating up between the Democrats and the Republicans. Let's start with the swing state of Florida. Hundreds of supporters of Republican Ron DeSantis, governor, greeted the governor. His main focus this campaign season has been on education. And for Donald Trump, it was a proud moment to see so many red voters in his home state. Not only did he promote his fellow Republicans, also he hinted at the possibility of running for president yet again. It's great to be here in my home state of Florida. This is my home state. With thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots, incredible people, just two days from now, the people of Florida are going to re-elect the wonderful, the great friend of mine, Marco Rubio, to the United States Senate. And you're going to re-elect Ron DeSantis as your governor of your state. In order to make our country successful, safe, and glorious, I will probably have to do it again, but stay tuned. Now, President Joe Biden is going state to state to extend his support. He's currently in New York to back Governor Kathy Hochul for re-election. The president earlier visited Pennsylvania, where he was joined by former President Barack Obama. And both agreed the democracy is on the ballot this time. Democracy is literally on the ballot. This is a defining moment for the nation. And we all, we all must speak with one voice regardless of our party. There's no place in America for political violence. No place, no, no place for what we saw happen to Paul Pelosi, a friend of mine, and Nancy's husband. No place for voter intimidation. You see these guys stand there with rifles outside of polling places? Come on. Where the hell do you think you are? No, I'm they're, they're for, well, I shouldn't get going. Now, economic issues remain a top concern for most voters, but voters' highest priorities are divided along partisan lines, with abortion rights continuing to resonate strongly for the Democrats. For Republicans, the focus sharply remains on inflation. Concerns about other issues are also on the cards. From gun policy to immigration, some issues that drew attention in the previous elections, like the coronavirus pandemic, are relatively muted this year. In the days leading up to the midterm elections, a series of false and misleading claims have also gone viral. Some of the claims cast doubt on the legitimacy of the voting process. Others include manipulated content from across the political spectrum. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.